But he's got to be feeling unbeatable right now. This is the Derby City Classic 9 Ball, year 2005. A final match between the magician, Efren but the race, and a young gun, and upcoming star from Illinois, USA, James Barracks. Another brilliant match of the Filipino hero, a display of mastery, and dazzling creativeness, as he makes his way to be the overall champion of the event. Watches the magician dominate the table, without giving his opponent, the slightest chance, and teaching everyone how to play perfect nine ball pool notice how hard he had to hit it and he forced well, the cue ball i was uh towards the total purse is approximately forty-three thousand dollars there was a twenty thousand dollar bonus for the world all-around champion one of the young guns please welcome mr james barracks thank you louisville two-time world eight ball champion former winner of the espn ultimate nine ball challenge Three times he has won the World All-Around Championships from the Republic of the Philippines, an international superstar known as the Magician. Please welcome back Mr. Efren Reyes. Thank you. Mr. Reyes wins the lag. Okay, here we go. This is the finals of the nine ball division. ball. No, he missed an end ball. The side ball went, though. The one in the side went. Okay, that's the ball he was pocketing with some sort of regularity. He's really a calm player. You know what I said? Yeah, he's better than that. And he's holding up real well under the, the situation. Look at this control. That was great control. He was one of the last four. And he really is holding up very well. He's not intimidated. Efren has been known not to give people any chances. Uh, these two players met uh, a little while ago, I believe. Yeah. So therefore, Jamie Barracks really is the type of a player that's easily intimidated. Barracks may not shoot until he's like three, four games behind. Efren started exactly like this against Immen. And then the offset of this match looks like he's doing the same, pocketing the one on the side. Oh, he made a ball and he's going to run out. But against Mika, Mika missed to give him his first opportunity. And then it got like uh, out of play. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see how well he does in this final match under the cameras and lights and acrobats. But first, he has to get a shot. That's right, but I don't think that's forever. That's close again. He made the one in the side though, and he played position on the two. <laughs> what a what a what a technician! That's a great stroke right there. He could have cinched it and been on the rail. Came with a high stroke, and he got closer to the three. And there's a green six ball in the middle of the table that he may find himself behind. Yeah. Careful. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He made sure that he went on the inside of it and didn't have to deal with it. Very difficult shot. Notice how hard he had to hit it, and he forced well, the cue ball to his right. He had a little angle, and, and when you got a little angle, it's enough. It will glance. See how much that glance? And look at this. Automatic. He just makes it look so easy, you don't think he's ever going to miss he did a little different, but you know, he had he's a, all right. Yeah, he, well, he must have had an off angle. I right, just... so now he can get close to the eight with this angle. I mean, look at this. But he's putting the cue ball there. It's optimistic wiping your hands when you're playing effort. And it looks like he's really at the top of his game. Really. I was watching him play all I week long. Him. I tell you, I talked with him a little earlier. I said, Efren. Well, that's what he said 85, so I'm just... No, he won the tournament in 84. Now, once again, pocketing this time, two balls on the break. Caesar, Caesar Morales. Caesar Morales. Caesar Morales, he went for $100 in the Calcutta, and you know the whole truth of the matter? At the time, he could have said Efren Reyes, and, and hardly anybody would have known. Okay, that was the key shot in the rack, and... And, and this is the second match he's played today. This is the first mistake. Well, he added something new in the game when we had this uh, uh, any foul ball in hand. He added something. He act, he added the kick safe. Okay, Jimmy Barracks finally does step to the table, only to see himself behind the uh, the pink four ball. He doesn't have a shot on the three. The three balls in no man's land, and he's kicked it and hit it solidly. Made the nine. Oh, he made the nine. I swear he did. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> okay. 
close. Now, the shot that Ray is, is, is uh, presented with here is a fairly difficult shot, but he's got the... He started tonight. He had already won the all-around 20,000, and that... That's uh, what he does when he does something wrong. That's the kind of a look that he gives us. Yeah. But he's got to be feeling unbeatable right now. They're rolling for him, right? He, he kicked the ball, snookered the guy, you know. And he is one of the best players. The end ball went that time. Okay, here we go. The one's coming back up table, the closer to the side. He figures the play is some kind of safe because he can get the worst of making the ball. Oh, look, he's not going to be safe. And you know, you know what's coming now, don't you? And it looks like the cue ball finally came to a rest behind the three. Okay. Barrick's second shot, second kick. You know, Barrick's is, is, is really unlucky that that happened the way it did because yeah. it didn't have to. And then put it better to play a safe off the two. Right. No hit. Yeah, I don't know about this. What was he going to gain kicking soft? Well, I believe the reason he kicks off because he really didn't have the angle and he wanted to lengthen it. So therefore, by kicking soft, to push another bead on his side, and he already has, what, three to nothing? Is that the score? Yeah. Before. He's got five other pockets he could play to, and I believe he played for the side. Now he's going to have to go one rail. Right-hand corner. I think it's the, the Upper right-hand yeah. corner. He actually overdid it a little bit, but I'm sure. Exactly. He'll just hit it with a center ball, float it in, go cross table for position for the six. He's been snookered twice, and his only two shots have been kicks. One he hit, one he didn't. Well, he could shoot at. He's going to be down 4-1, and I don't think Efren's going to be... 4 nothing. that's right. 4 nothing. he's got his zip. Well, what about alternate break in the finals? I don't like that. Oh, he could catch him. You'll take that out of the game. Coming from behind will become extinct. Okay, well, I, I kind of agree with what you're saying, but I really disagree. I want to give a, a player an opportunity to show his skills. And Barracks, zero, zero, zero. There goes the end ball again. At the four, considering the four is in Not front of the side idea. pocket. Yeah, you're right. Cut the one in with inside English. Perfect shot, and he hit the four, just like you said. You know, we're winding down here. This is going to be the final match of the tournament. It looks like it just started. It's over already. This is it. This is the final match. Got the little longer shot on the five. That's exactly what he did. Although the longer shot looks pretty easy anyway. Bottom question, and end up to the left of the seven and play position to one of the other pockets like this. That's what he did. And he got straight in perfectly. Matter of fact, Pat Fleming. Uh, uh, Efren's going to win, doesn't it? Well, he's looking at some kind of record here. You know. End ball right in. I don't think he's going to like this too much, though. He's, I would, uh, under the circumstances. So that's why I would push uh, towards, well, I like the shot I come up with because it's a pretty good hit. Oh, he wants to leave him straight in on the ball. and Maybe he's feeling sorry. He wants the guy to, to shoot something in. He tried to reposition the cue ball close or on the rail, leaving him. Okay, he made a ball. Everybody should clap. Nice shot. Nice shot. Well, under the layout here, it's the only one you could say could be a problem because it's the only tough situation. Well, it is, position-wise. Well, this part of the game isn't anything tricky at all. Now, I want, now here's where he has to make it. Well, he, he's made up his mind because the angle that he's left himself with it would make everything easy. And I would say that's pretty cool. The point now that we got this excellent, okay, excellent see. angle. Okay, he didn't hit it hard enough. He didn't hit it hard enough, and he knows. Uh oh. No. Never a doubt. 
No, never a doubt. He hit it clean. Oh my God! Wow! Did? Did you yep. think he cut it a little bit? Well, I, I think he hit the professional side of the pocket because yeah. when that shot's missed. Reyes had him 5-1, to one and it went to think Hill Hill. Well, he made the other corner ball. Okay, but he didn't really get the results. Good. Yeah. The seven ball positioned behind the blue two. Rails to the cross side bank. Let's see what happens there. He doesn't even want to deal with that cross side bank or any of that stuff you came up with. He just wanted to play safe. Yeah, he's using the three and nine to try to get him. And not only trying, he got that's such good speed. You know that? Yeah. Playing safe. You may win one at a time. Yeah, he, struck at, yeah, he struck a little bit too hard. Yeah. See, now he can play position for the side pocket on the two because of where the one stop. The side pocket is very, very small. Bank. Oh, how about in the side close? He's going to draw it out to the middle and shoot the three in this pocket. Pocket to three. No difficulty at all. Not that time. None at all. Shot. He's a machine right now. He's just not going to miss. Go forward here because that's the natural way to play it, considering the position of the eight. He really doesn't have to do anything with the seven. In term. The six to one in favor of Reyes. With the opponent never in the game. Six one. He's playing extremely well. Such a dominant player and performance. There's the one in the corner. Got a little bit of a kiss there. Pocket the one in the corner. And the six in the side. He's got a cut on the two also. He's going to go away from the red three, so there's no reason for him to play position here. He'll play some sort of a safety. Repositioning the cue ball down table, perhaps in back of the orange five, like so. Barracks once again steps to the table, needing the kick. Final match of the tournament. How you like this chance, Mr. It, no, it's short. It's short, and Efren has... It's done! And play the, the three down in the other pocket, mm -hmm. like that. See what exactly. it is? Exactly. He's threaded the needle in between the five and the seven. I don't really see any problems out there. <laughs> oh, unfortunately uh, for Barracks. I don't know how he's going to play it. He's, he's going... There's something funny right. that happened here. funny did happen. Huh. He's got a shot anyway. Yeah. Well, tell me this. If you were playing, would you rather be shooting or having him shoot? Well, of course <laughs> I'd rather be shooting. But, but you know, there's no problem here. And uh, he dogged it either. You know what? I don't think he was going to dog it because he didn't seem like he was a bit nervous. If, if, if the few shots that he shot was any indication of how well he's playing, he's really playing well. But there's no one playing better than Efren Reyes. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the floor with Tony Anagoni, who uh, will be interviewing Efren. So, go ahead, Tony. Efren Bata Reyes, winner of the Derby City Classic. That's two years in a row, correct, Efren? Yeah, it's two, two years in a row, you know. Uh, the break, you know, this time the break, yeah, he's helping me. Uh, you won the all-around again. Uh, what does that mean to you and to people in the Philippines? Oh, I think uh, they're happy, you know, a uh, uh, lot of uh, poor people in the Philippines too, they have been happy, you know. I think they were waiting for me now. Did you do this rap yourself? <laughs> huh? Is yeah. that your rap? Yeah. Okay. I guess that means to everybody it's not the cue, is it? No, that's only this rap. Only this rap. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Albert. The friend raises a 13-time Derby City Classic winner, including an unprecedented five Master of the Table crowns. In 2010, Reyes clinched his fifth title, in the 12th annual Derby City Classic, as the overall champion, making him the most successful player, in the tournament's history. Thanks for watching and for following this page. Stay home and stay safe everyone. God bless.